Wonderful. I'm very excited because they will match in the Brazil and Chile. I... No results. Oh, you're excited about the match between Brazil and Chile? Yes. Which one do you think will win? Anybody. <laughs> it could, it's anyone's game. No, it's a, and I, we have extra time to finish the, the match. Mm. More 30 minutes. Well, it, I hope that you. it's a good game for you. I hope it's a good game. Yeah. Welcome back to the class. It's good to have you, Helcio. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Evan. You're welcome. And let me say hello to Osama. Hello. Hi, Abby. Hey, how are you? I'm very good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Okay. Um, have I had you before in my class? I think twice. Only twice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, it, I think you might have changed your picture, so I wasn't, I didn't want yeah, to recognize yeah. you. You're right, yeah. Wonderful. Welcome back to the class, Osama. It's nice to have you. Thanks for joining me again. And nice to see you again. Thank you very much. And let's say hello to, I think it was Alejandra. Alejandra. Alejandra, there you are. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Good. I think this, is this my first time with you in, in my class? First class, yes, first class. <laughs> Wonderful. Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? What do you do? I am from Colombia. Okay, awesome. And why are you learning English? What's your goal? What would you like to do with English? I I I don't understand. Can you repeat, please? Why do you want to learn English? Learn English. Yeah. Take a look in the verbling chat. No. Por qué quieres aprender inglés? Ah, okay. Uh, because. Because it is necessary for the work, working mm -hmm. in this moment in, uh, in the company. Okay, very good. So you need it for work. Yes. Can you repeat, I need to learn English for work. I need to learn English for work. Can you repeat that for me, Alejandra? Okay. I need to learn English for work. Excellent. Good job. Well, you've come to the right place. Thank you for joining us. And Rodolfo, welcome back. Hi, teacher. How Hello. are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good to have you back in class. How's your weekend been so far? Excuse me, teacher. How has your weekend been so far? Uh, I don't understand been so far. Uh, How is your weekend? Hasta ahora. Is no, it's normal. It's relaxed. Uh, I stay in home uh, and see the the match mm -hmm. and uh, waiting the next match, uh, Colombia versus Uruguay. Colombia versus who? Uruguay. Uruguay, okay. Very good. So you're into the World Cup. You're into soccer or football right now. Yes, teacher. I'm from Colombia and and I I wear in the in this game. It's pretty exciting. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Uh, more or less, teacher. Yes, <laughs> yes. Good for you. Let me say hello to Suma. Suna, how are you? Uh, I'm very good. How are you today? You're what today? Very good. Oh, well, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. What's the weather like? Uh, it's just too warm. Yeah. The weather is warm? Yes. Um, 80, 80 washi. No. Okay. And you're in, is it, I can't remember, is it California you're living? Yeah, that's right. 
I'm sure the weather is beautiful. Thanks for joining us today, Suna. Thank you. And Vitali, welcome back to the class. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm doing very well, actually. Thank you for asking. Tell me about your weekend so far. That means up until this point, how has your weekend been? Um, I study English. <laughs> Uh, outside uh, warm, <laughs> I stay stay uh, stay at uh, home at home. So I, I'm the uh, conditional. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it at least. Maybe you should you should try to enjoy the nice warm weather yeah. in Kazakhstan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. And Jawad, welcome back. Hi, teacher. I come back, yes. <laughs> you know what happens to me when I have French students is I want to imitate your accent. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's easy, I think. I had a French student, that, a private student, for a long time, and I started to speak with a French accent, and he said, no, you're supposed to be teaching me an English accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great accent. And Michael, welcome back to the class. Yeah, hi. Can you imitate my accent? Can you imitate how I speak so, so I can understand uh, what I sound, how I sound? I'm really bad with accents. Really so bad. Out, I would be a... You are Try like a it native, out. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> what? Try it out. Okay, speak like that, eh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But um, Jawad is a French accent is pretty classic. Okay, it's you gotta you have to appreciate it. All right, well let's go ahead and get started. Thank you guys for coming to my class today. I'm super happy to have you. What we're going to be doing is reading a series of short stories and using those stories to do a crossword puzzle. So the story is super short. Sometimes the story is not very exciting, depending on which one you choose. But the idea is that we're going to practice our reading and our vocabulary. So, any questions before we get started with that? No. No. Ali, you're on it today. You're wide awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. So just one second. If there's any questions, you guys can feel free to ask me now. I tried to get Fredo for you, but he ran away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start with Helcio. Would you like to choose our first short story? Choose a number, maybe one of the ones that you can see on the screen, and we'll read it together. Helcio? Okay. Let me see. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, Abby. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Abby? Yes. Can you not hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, okay. Um, Num number six. Yes, yes, clearly. Uh, number six, buy a new car. Okay. So, Halcio, I'm going to get you to read, read that for us. Okay, I'm going to get you to read up into the first <coughs> highlighted part. Go ahead. Linda. Oh, okay. Linda wants to buy a new car. She has an old car. He, her old car is a white Honda. Linda wants to buy a new Honda. She wants to buy a new hedge Honda. She has saved 100 
thousand dollar. She will use one thousand dollar to help buy the new car. Okay, good, excellent job. And we're gonna finish the paragraph with Alejandra. Can you read it for us? She will give one thousand to the Honda dealer. The Honda dealer will give her a contract to see. The contract will require her to, play, to pay for four hundred a month for seven years. Her new read on that will cost Linda a lot of money, but that's okay because Linda may make a lot of money. Good, excellent reading. Thank you very much. So Alejandra, tell me, can you please repeat the word dealer? Dealer. Dealer. And sign. Sign. And require. Require? Yeah, there you go. Excellent job. Now, for any of our students, are there questions about what you see in the paragraph? Excuse me? Any, are there any questions about the vocabulary? Uh, no, no question. Okay, very good. Um, let me ask, Vitali, what should you think of before you buy a new car? What should you consider? <coughs> uh, well, uh, 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 Linda uh, must to pay uh, before, before uh, for a uh, hundred uh, dollars uh, per month uh, f f for seven years. Exactly. Uh, and uh, ca new car uh, will be uh, will be uh, cost uh, uh, more cost, no? More cost. Absolutely. It would be more expensive, more but, expensive. But, but uh, she, uh, she makes uh, a lot of money. Uh, question: uh, How uh, how uh, she is making <laughs> money? <laughs> yes, we don't know. We could brainstorm on that for sure. Soon, sooner. Yes. What is your favorite brand of car and why? Um, I don't interest in the car. <laughs> anything, I want anything car. <laughs> okay, I'm not interested in cars. Yes. Okay, but yes. do you, you, do you, what kind of car do you have or what kind of car does your husband drive or uh, tell me something about cars. Oh, my husband driver. My husband. My husband's car is uh, BMW convertible. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we share. Um, we drive this car together. Okay, very <laughs> good. Thank you for sharing that with us, Una. Excellent job. And Rodolfo, Rodolfo, what do you think before you sign a contract for a car? What is something you want to think about? Mm, maybe the the price is important, and the the a uh, how uh, I can make the uh, the payment the payment of the of the car. It's important for me, and the state of the car. Uh, that it, if uh, the state of, it, of the car is good, uh, I sign the contract. Absolutely, very good. And Michael, why should you consider the the warranty or the guarantee? Well, because uh, I usually 
the car uh, uh, after you buy they could have like uh, after a while they sh you need to, like to th so they need maintenance and uh, if they're like a free warranty for the first 100,000 kilometers maybe or for first three year uh, that's very comfortable because you shouldn't pay anything and also if you buy for example a Mercedes car Mercedes <laughs> Uh, as far as I know, it's very expensive to maintain this kind mm -hmm. of car. I mean, um, for example, um, my sister used to have and she sold that car just because she said that it's, um, it's not... Uh, so you give in that, you invest in that car more than uh, it uh, gives you that car, something like that. So. It nickels and dimes you. What is that, Nicholson? That yeah. it it takes all your money slowly. <laughs> yeah, you work for that car. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's true. I have a friend here, and to pay for his truck every month, well, just like his payments, uh, I think it's eight hundred and ninety dollars a month, and to me that is insane. <laughs> but uh, how much? Eight hundred and ninety Canadian dollars a month. Uh huh. But it's a truck. Uh, how many tons? Does it oh. hold? Um, Michael, it's Funny? just a big truck. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> okay. Well, they are very like um, uh, how would you say like you can um, so transport merchandise and you have a lot of money from transporting that merchandise. I mean, it's quite profitable to to have that truck, and that's why you change like tires, maybe one, and you, and you put like oil or something. So that's okay. <laughs> He has the money from that. It's a Ford something something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So that is our paragraph. Now everybody watch carefully, okay? We're going to look quickly at a vocabulary list. And maybe, Jawad, could you please read those words for us? You, you ask me? Yeah, read the list of words, please. Yeah, yes. Uh, uh, buy, contract, cost, dealer, money, month, pay, require, save, sign, use, white. Okay, require. Require. And contract. Contract. Okay, contract is a noun. Um, it means the, the paper that you sign to make an agreement. And then contract is also a verb, which is different. It means to hire someone else on a contract. Okay? Let's go ahead and use these words and some others to finish our crossword puzzle. So number one, it's a little crossword puzzle. Number one, oops, one down. Let's have um, Osama, number one. Could you please read the sentence and fill in the gap? And for anybody who is not currently speaking, could you please mute your microphones? Thank you. Go ahead, Osama, with number one down. Number one down. Okay, you will maybe offer money if you buy a used car. You will what money? What? Sorry? What will you do with money if you buy a used car? Offer or... Mm, just a minute. Mm, save. Excellent. Very good. Save. Sorry, just one moment here. Okay. Save money when you buy a used car. So, Osama, what do you think? Is it better to buy new or used when it comes to mm, a car? I prefer to get a new one. Why? Yeah. Why? Why do you prefer to get a new one? Because used one needs a lot of maintenance. Okay. Each, each time, yeah. 
it, it's going to uh, drive you crazy. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Number two across, Vitali. Uh, see uh, both a car from uh, the Honda. Uh, mm -hmm. two, two across. Uh, mm -hmm. What do we call the place that sells the vehicle? Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> it starts with it starts with a D. A D. I... What do we call the person who works at a casino and gives people cards when they're playing poker? Do you ask everyone? What? Do you ask everyone, everybody from the class? No, no, I'm asking. I'm asking <laughs> Italy. <laughs> oh, okay. I know about casino. <clears throat> Hold your phone. Don't remember. <laughs> okay. Who, what is it? Somebody yell it out. Dealer. 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 Good job, you guys. So, Vitaly, a dealer is the place that sells the vehicle. They deal cars just like a drug dealer deals drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dealer, it's men uh, uh, who uh, buy uh, something. Exactly. Uh, they sell. They sell something. They give it. Yes. They sell them. They sell cars. <laughs> okay. <I> sell. <laughs> Thank you, Vitaly, very much. <laughs> um, do you think it's better to buy a car from a dealership or a private owner? What do you think? What's better, to buy it from a dealer or a private owner? Italy. Sorry, uh, what is question? You can my pen to write your name. Ah, you can um, see sign. No, sign my pen to write your name. No. Um, look in the chat in the verbling chat, please. Okay. It's is it? Is it better mm -hmm. to buy from a dealer or a private owner? Uh, um, uh, dealer, no? Okay, dealer. thank you. Thank you for sharing your opinion. Does anyone else have a different opinion they'd like to share? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Definitely from a dealer, because uh, if you buy from a private person, they could hide something, and uh, about that car, it could have been in some um, accident, possible small accident, or could be uh, what I mean, What do you call cars that have been like in water, like in a lake or sea or something, fully in water? Immersed. 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 And that implies uh, that they've been in water? Waterlogged. Oh, okay, yeah. S waterlogged. <laughs> so they could sell you these kind of cars and you would not know about that. Or maybe stolen car. Okay. Or maybe with stolen uh, uh, parts of the car. So a lot, lots of problems. But uh, you, you can check uh, all of them. You can show a repairman or something understand the car. I think uh, you can buy a car uh, from private owner uh, a good price, maybe cheaper, because dealers already make uh, profit with them. Okay. So we have different opinions. I Not think um, it depends on the dealer. Maybe there's a good deal through a private owner. It just depends. Okay, number three down. Um, Suna, could you please read the sentence and give me what you think is the answer? The word starts with an R. Go ahead and read the sentence. Um, in this country, 
Und das kommt vielleicht hier. Und das Konzept. Pay? Oh, no, no, no. Do you want to read the whole sentence first? This contract blank? This contract blank for you to pay $400 a month. Okay. Require? There you go. Excellent. Good job. What what would happen, Suna, if you did not pay four hundred dollars for the month? What would happen? <laughs> what would happen if you did not pay? She she doesn't she didn't um, she didn't purchase on the car. Exactly. You would yeah. not get to keep the car. You would lose the car. <laughs> or or they sue you. Or they sue you. How does it work in your country, Osama, if you break a contract like that? Thank you, Suna. Very good job. I don't know exactly, but I have no idea in this sense. No idea. Anyone else? In Canada, I believe that after a few months of not paying, you would have the car taken away from you. Simple as that. Anyone else have a different answer to that question? Maybe it depends uh, uh, how many months uh, you don't pay that. If uh, one or two months, uh, that's not a problem. Maybe you have to pay some uh, interest. Very good. If you buy a car in leasing, or what? If you buy a car, what? In leasing. 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 Uh, leasing is different than buying, right? Well, we call that in my language like uh, you buy a car in leasing, like uh, it's a loan, like basically a loan. Okay, a you make payments. You make payments. Yep. So okay. they take uh, that car from you because it's uh, you didn't respect uh, the payments. Exactly. As far as I know. Okay. Very good. Let's go to our next word, Rodolfo. Can you please do for us number six? down, six down. Okay. You you can must pay 100 uh, blank, that's 12, uh, 1,200 a year, a year. That's a hundred year. You must pay one hundred a uh, a month. There you go, a month. Excellent, Rodolfo. What other monthly payments do most people have? Uh, I I don't know the 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 word uh, immediately. What other monthly payments do most people have? So what other payments do people have to make once a month? One is a car. What's another one? I I, I don't understand the the question, teacher. Uh, what other can you look in the verbling chat so you can see it too? I, I cannot see the verbling chat. Uh, oh, okay. Um, let me go over to the other chat then. What other monthly payments do most people have? So one payment is the car. Then what other things do people pay once a month? Mm, okay. 
eh, I don't know, eh, de service, de public service. Public service, okay. Um, maybe you have some kind of taxes or the rent. Rent. The, the scholar. Uh, scholar of the of the children. The scholar right? Very good. Yeah, educational payments. Yes. Mm, I don't know. Uh, mm, the personal rights. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yes. Excellent. Can anyone mm -hmm. else think of different monthly payments that are required? Yeah. Or? Bills. Y yes, we Elect love those. Electricity, internet, mm -hmm. no, telephone, something like that. Absolutely. So all your utilities, we call those utilities. Yeah. Excellent. Natural, natural gas. Natural gas. That's also included in utilities. Good. Okay, number seven across, Osama. Okay. Um, the Honda dealer gave the car buyer or buyer a... Um, Contract. Excellent. Very good. So, Osama, give me another example of something that should require a contract. Buying a house. Buying a house. Mm. What else? Mm. Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage? <laughs> yeah, that is contract. It is a or contract. Not. It is absolutely. You sign it. That's true. You sign mm -hmm. it, and you, and you. There's terms, and you promise to stick to those terms. That's very yeah. True. yeah. Anyone else think of a contract or an idea? Um, maybe a, a reason or a time where you think that you need a contract, or it's a good idea to have one. A loan from bank. Absolutely. Helcio, what do you think? When is it a good idea to have a contract? When is it a good idea? <clears throat> when is it a good idea to have a one? When, like, in what situation is it a good idea to have a contract? Uh, when by by uh, some gadget gadget of Apple. You need to make you some contracts. Anybody read the contracts. But when I sold my car, then I arranged something for one another people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a, a good one, uh, a best form of contracts to make. Uh, to warranty, uh, warranty the I don't know the the, the exact the term the, the meaning for this. Um, a, a contract is a, an agreement that is legal and binding. So it means that you have to stick to it, and if you break it, there are consequences. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Alejandra, what could happen if you rent an apartment without a contract? What is something that might happen if you rent an apartment and there's no contract? Alejandra. Alejandra, are you there? Okay, let's ask Vitali. Vitali, what might happen if you rent an apartment without a contract? Uh, <clears throat> uh, in my opinion, uh, 
the the, ma the man uh, served a, a complaint uh, in court. Okay. Uh, and maybe. Uh, Uh, maybe uh, to to close to close uh, electricity, no, uh, gas and gas, no. What was that? Can you say that again, Vitali? They close what? Uh, electricity and gas. Uh, yeah, they might shut your gas off. <laughs> shut it, shut it, yes. Or electric. Good, very good. Okay, let's go to our next word. Uh, Michael, nine down. Rich people make a lot of every year. Nine down. Money. No? Money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, rich people make a lot of money every year. I don't even know what question to ask you with that one, Michael. So well, I'm you can go. ask uh, how much money do you make every year? Like, yeah, uh, how much money do you make? This is a follow-up <laughs> question, like in this kind of classes. Like, I mean, um, from the the sentence and the question results from the the sentence. So the question: How much money I make every year? Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's me count. Uh, each month I make by uh, one million, I think, dollars per year. <laughs> That's what I thought. I could tell you were a rich man. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Number ten across. Over to Helcio. Ten across. Let me see. Mm, number ten. Writing. Writing your name in the right. Oh, no, 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 no. It's impossible. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with your name when there's a contract involved? Sign your name. Exactly. Why should you be really careful before you sign your name? Why should you be really careful? Uh, because if you have many problems, you have enough money to pay after this. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Maybe you, you're not aware of what you're signing. 11, 11 across. Ali. Blank car is cooler in summer than a black car. <laughs> Why? Exactly. Do you think that's true? Uh, yes. Cars uh, they uh, stay clean. Black cars uh, get uh, a lot of dust. I think. No, cooler as in temperature. The temperature is different. I think black color absorbs oh, the oh, heat. Cooler? Maybe, but uh, nowadays it, uh, it's not very important. Uh, they have a air condition or climate in every <laughs> car. Okay. Osama, was it you saying about absorbing heat? Yeah, the black color. Absolutely. So, like, when it's hot outside, what kind of clothing do you wear? What colors do you like to wear? C colors? You mm -hmm. mean t-shirts or car? Yeah. Or what? <laughs> what do you wear? Wear? Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, I never wear black colors. Never. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love black. <laughs> oh. <laughs> black, makes, black makes everything pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You, you <laughs> seem uh, thin, maybe. Yeah, black. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Though it's true. Dark colors absorb more heat. Excellent vocabulary, Osama. Thank you. And over 
to Alejandra. Can you please do eight down for us? Vitaly, eight down. How? Oh. Continue, Alejandra. How much did you new car? Eight down. Cost? Excellent. Good job. Fantastic. How much did your new car cost? <coughs> Very good. And over to Vitaly with four across. <coughs> uh, sorry. Uh, you can. Uh, uh, my pen to write your name. <clears throat> it's a verb. I know, but what? Uh, you. Uh, give, give. No? It's right here, four across. Starts with a U. Ends with an E. Mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. you. No, no, I don't know. Use. You are ah, you, so I... <laughs> You uh, knew it. It's easily. <laughs> you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know 11. <laughs> oh. it, it, it was on the tip of uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Exactly. Poor Vitaly. You knew <laughs> that one. Very good. Yeah. Okay, number five across, Suna. Mm, will you drink or you can next year? Pay or buy? Buy. There you go. Excellent. Will you buy a new car next year? And 12 across, Rodolfo. How much did you run for new car? Do you pay? Excellent. How much did you pay for your new car? That's it. Any questions on the vocabulary for this story? No questions. Okay, let's, no more car talk. I've had enough car talk for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's pick a new story. Let's have Ali choose a story for us. Okay, eleven in love. In love. Okay, let's break this up. Let's have um, who is next? Let's have um, Osama. Would you like to read that first part for us? Okay. Dana loved her husband. Her husband loved Dana. They were in love with each other. She wanted to give him a birthday present. He, he was going to be 40 years old next week. She wondered what to give him. Excellent. Good reading. And Michael, go ahead and read the next part that's highlighted, please. Okay. Abby, a question. Uh, why um, he was going to be 40 years old? Why not 40 year old? 40 is For example, yeah, but I see like uh, uh, sometimes 40 year. Okay, he is a 40 year old man or uh -huh. he's going to be 40 years. So, so what's the difference? Because I don't, for me, it's a, I don't see any difference. Like in, um, I can say uh, always with years, I cannot distinguish where I should say year and years. Mm. It has to do with to be or is, I guess. I don't know. It's it must have. It, I need to think about it, Michael. Okay. One is a possession that he has, and that's forty years, so he is that. And the other is talking about um, the amount that he has. So it's just depending on the context. But I need to think about why it's years in this case and not in another. Okay, so because I met like uh, sometimes years 
and doesn't depend on the figure. I mean, it could be two year, two years, or three year, three years, and sometimes like year. And for me, it's kind of confusing. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. It is. It is a little bit confusing. But let me look it up for you, okay? And we'll talk about okay. that after. Should she uh, should she give him a watch? Should she give him a sweater? Should she give him a new guitar? What should she give him? What should she she uh, do? I pronounce correct? She. Yeah, that's perfect. What should she give him? Okay, she asked him what he wanted to for his birthday. 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 Thank you, and Ali, the last part. He said he didn't want anything for his birthday. Oh, you must want something, she said. You are right, he said. I want your love forever. Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a nice husband. Okay, what's the story? What are we, what's happening in this story? Suna? Suna, what is happening in this story? On this theory, uh, Donna Salzman's birthday, she's thinking about his birthday gift. Exactly. Yeah. And she's trying to decide, Rodolfo, what would you like if it was your birthday? In my birthday. If it was your birthday, what would you like? Mm, maybe a travel. A travel uh, to to Australia uh, will be a good present for me. A a trip to Australia. A trip, yes, yes, a trip. A trip to Aussie land. That sounds great. What about you, Osama? What would you like if it was your birthday? Mm, fancy watch. Mm, maybe a new smartphone. It could be a laptop. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Fancy car, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Excellent answers. Very good answers, you guys. Anyone else want to share what they would like if it was their birthday? If. What would you like? Just sincere. Um, when someone wish you like happy birthday, what was that? Sincere, sincere what? Sincere birthday wishes. Yep, sincere birthday wishes. I mean, uh, really sincere, like uh, something that would, uh, would uh, what, uh, would, uh, what is the word? Like would, um, mm, so I would be su not surprised, but I would be. So I would like that very much in this way. I would say. Okay, um, I'm not really sure exactly what you mean by that. Since, uh, uh, like, you just want someone to sincerely want you to be happy. Um, no, so in my uh, culture, for example, we, um, uh, when it's, it's a birthday uh, of a person, we wish them something. Like, I would like you to be, like, uh, healthy or something, uh, yeah. you to achieve something like that and that. So these kind of things. And I like that very much when someone wishes me and uh, their wishes are really, like, uh, sincere. Okay. From the heart, they're coming from the heart. I uh, heart felt wishes. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's, for me, the best uh, birthday um, present. Come on, Michael. What? <laughs> Maybe... Uh, they give you a uh, expensive gift and they happy birthday with sincerely both of them. <laughs> Once again, the first words would they give me? Maybe a luxury car. Oh, I okay. <laughs> One million. Oh, oh, well, I would not be offended by that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and say happy birthday, Michael. <laughs> it, it will be perfect, I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are materialistic, Kelly. <laughs> I wish, I wish that you drive this car and feel happy while doing it. Yeah, <laughs> and no accident on the road. <laughs> exactly. I sincerely do not want you to crash. Yep. Live happy. Good. Okay. Um, what about you, Alejandra? How would you answer that question? What would you like or want if it was your birthday? Uh, I want a new car <laughs> because my car is old. Um, I want to go uh, to the restaurant mm -hmm. with um, celebrate uh, celebration my family. Okay, very good. Go celebrate with your family and get a new car. Beautiful answer. Thank you for sharing. Okay, let's read one more Have story. You? What? What would you like you for a birthday? If it was your birthday, like... Like what kind of gift would I like from somebody? Let me see. Yeah, the same, the same question, like, that you asked. Um... A uh, $5,000 <laughs> shopping spree, shopping spree. What is that shopping spree? It means that I'm given $5,000, but I have to spend it at the, like, shopping for clothing or shoes or something. Okay, thanks for sharing. <laughs> I'm the opposite of you, Michael. <laughs> yep, okay. Why uh, 5,000? Um, well, 1,000 would go too quickly, and five, 5 is just a good even number. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much, I think 5,000, 50,000 maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worth 50,000, but maybe 5,000 to the right person. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's the only one with a good heart. The rest of us were just uh, materialistic people. Good well, job. Are there, any, are there any questions on this story about Donna who loves her husband and he clearly loves her back? Any questions? Comments? Questions. Ideas? I think uh, Donna is a poor woman, not too much money. She has not. She has not. Maybe that's why he's. She, he's saying that. Maybe they have no money, and that's why he said, "I want your love forever." <laughs> Good. Has anybody? Does anybody have a present that is worth something to them? Maybe not. Um, Maybe it's not worth a lot of money, but the idea behind the present is very valuable. Who has a present that is worth a lot to them, personally? Nobody? Uh, I gave a watch. I told you. A watch? Oh, right, your watch. You told me about that. Yeah. You're the godfather. Yeah, I'm, I'm godfather. For 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 father. <laughs> Very good, Alejandra. Do you have a gift that is worth a lot to you? Excuse me, can you repeat? Do you have a gift that is worth a lot to you? No. No, nothing that is very special to you. Uh, I, I understand the, the question. Um, a present, un regalo, that is very special to you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Come. The, the, my son. <laughs> Your My son. son. What is can, it? can you hold it? The son? The pet. Oh, the pet? No, look at her. She's huge. Well, no, I don't want you to see my messy house. <laughs> My mom would kill me. <laughs> Very good. Charlize, come. Up here. Up. Charlize or Fredo? This is, this is not Charlize. This is, that's not Fredo. It's Charlize. Labrador? <laughs> 
a black Labrador, yes. Okay. Good job. Thank you, Alejandra. I have one special present that was given to me recently, and it's this ring that I wear on my finger. Oh. And it, yeah. it's special because mm. it was my 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 mother's wedding ring when she married my father 28 years ago. And now I wear it, and I quite like it. Wow. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> she got she got herself a big diamond, so I get the no diamond. <laughs> <laughs> so it has sentimental value, even though it wasn't extremely. Yeah. It, Does it, it worth five thousand dollars? She, she loves you uh, very much. It, it means. She does. She loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, good job, you guys. Excellent work reading and filling in for our crosswords for beginners. It's difficult to do crosswords, but you guys did an awesome job. So congratulations. Thank you for coming, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.